Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So good to see you again. So today I wanted to do something a little different and take a look at some of my childhood art, my elementary school art, and recreate it basically. Cause I I need I need some youth inspiration, you know. So just going through my book, you know, we got got all this stuff great content honestly some of the best just amazing beautiful fabulous very great proportions and then I came across this man cat alien juice box what, what a genius design everything wow what what could I do to make this better it's already perfect that's what we're going to do today. Alright, so here's the rundown for today. I want something fun to go on my wall. That's That was the whole motivation behind this video in the first place. And so I want to do like pop art, you know? I've been seeing it getting really popular again. Just, just the funky art to put on my wall so people can walk into my room and be like, oh, oh, she's cool, you know? That's the purpose of this piece. So that's that's what we're doing. So I, I kept exactly the same design. The only thing I changed is I made it have proper perspective with the box and stuff, and then I made the proportions better. That's literally it, that's all I did. Um, I ended up changing the eyes back to how they are in the original picture, but it doesn't really matter, anyway. You'll see, you'll see. Um, yeah, so I want the background to be yellow because my wall is pink. That way it looks cute and goes together because yellow is my favorite color and pink goes with yellow. It's, that's, that's my motivation for everything. The box man himself, the juice box, alien cat boy. I, I, it doesn't have a gender. It's a, the genderless cat alien juice box. I never actually painted it as a kid or like colored it and everything, but I knew it was like green and blue. Like that, that was the cat and then the, the face was like pink, but everything else was all greens and blue. So that's, that's what I'm doing today. It was kind of a struggle though actually because yellow and like light pink are kind of translucent colors and so I ended up having to do extra layers later. Cause none of, like you could see the pencil marks underneath and you could see the layering of the green underneath everything because I'm really sloppy because I'm just a sloppy artist, you know? Anyway, it was a little bit of a struggle. It was fine in the end though. You'll see, you'll see. I record on my iPhone, so whenever I get a notification, I, it like stops recording, so I lost some footage. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get better about checking it. All right, we're gonna wait for this to dry, and then we're gonna outline everything in the Posca and color some stuff in. Now I'm just adding some details, doing some shading and outlining with the Posca pens. This will make the piece look a whole lot more cohesive and fun. And in the end, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like outline the whole thing in pink, that way it pops a little more, and then I'll add some fun details just to make it a little bit more cute, you know? Really vibing with this. I really took advantage of the Posca pens opaque color, cause Honestly, the acrylic was still showing through a lot, and you could see a lot of those pencil marks, and it was looking kind of unprofessional, one might say. So we were trying to fix that here and add some details to the face.
I really like the eye choice on this piece. I think it really brings forward the kawaii aloofness of it all, if that makes any sense. Just the sparkles, the, the dumb magical girl. Truly, I don't think Alien Cat Juice Box was the magical girl we wanted. I think Alien Cat Juice Box was the magical girl we needed. I, th I, I believe this to be true. Here I'm just adding the sparkles and stuff. I really like them. I think it brings the piece together. It brings the pink and the yellow and the green together because it's mixed on all parts of it. And it really, it brings the vibe. It, it really, it really, it, it really sends the message I want it to send. A new front to begin to drift south and eastward. The central and eastern parts of Kansas will very probably be cloudy in the morning. And then western Kansas will begin to get increasing cloudiness by tomorrow afternoon. Today, however, a very, very pleasant reading. 73 up in the Goodland area. 72 at Garden City. 70 reported by Dodge City and Liberal. 72, 2, 2 over at, by the good folks of the Southerly at about 15 with gusts of 25 miles an hour. Very much pressure 30.00 and is rising. And no precipitation. We're about a half inch behind. Correction, a half inch ahead for the year. And one and 53 hundredths behind for the, for the year so far. We'll be looking for a little bit of a change tomorrow. And of course, the possibility of some scattered showers. Juice. Today, of course, there's nothing showing up on the radar. However, the satellite photo was pretty interesting for the western half of the U.S. Rain showers and thunder showers along that frontal system. And that wide band of fairly heavy snows. Now, what will happen each time that you see the frontal system on there, that begins at 6 o'clock in the morning, and then you'll see the cloud pattern move until 2 o'clock this afternoon. So, as of that time, I have no more commentary. Presenting now, however, Juice Box. Into the central part of the nation with a couple of Here on my wall, behind it. they will go 